In this video, we're going to multiply a monomial by a binomial by a binomial. As we do this, there's several ways we can go about getting the answer. My suggestion for what I believe is the best way to get there with the fewest errors is to multiply the binomials together first, then distribute the monomial. So for example, if we saw 4 times 2x minus 4 times 3x plus 1, it's all multiplied together. Multiplication can happen in any order. My suggestion is to multiply the binomials together first. So let's do that. There's a 4 in front of what we're working with. Don't lose that 4. To help us not forget it, we're going to write it every step. Do not let that 4 disappear or you will forget it. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. I'm actually going to move down a line so I have a little more space. 2x times 1 is 2x. Negative 4 times 3x is negative 12x. And negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Still with that, those binomials, we're used to combining like terms in the middle. So now we have 4 times, again, write the 4 every step. 6x squared minus 10x minus 4. And now that we're done multiplying the binomials together, we can distribute that 4, the monomial, into the parentheses. 4 times 6x squared is 24x squared. 4 times negative 10x is negative 40x. And finally, 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. And so we end up with 20, whoops, 4 times negative 4 is negative 16, sorry. So what we end up with is 24x squared minus 40x minus 16. Let's try another example. We have 3x times the binomial x minus 6 times the binomial 2x plus 5. Again, we're going to focus first on the binomials, multiplying them together. So we have 3x in front, rewriting that every step so we don't forget it. x times 2x is 2x squared. x times 5 is plus 5x. Negative 6 times 2x is negative 12x. And negative 6 times 5 is negative 30. Continuing with the binomials, we have to combine the like terms in the middle. We have the 3x still in front. Then it's 2x squared, 5x minus 12x is negative 7x minus 30. And then finally, to finish, we just have to distribute the 3x through. 3x times 2x squared is 6x cubed, adding the exponents, remembering the 1 on the x. 3x times negative 7x is negative 21x squared. And finally, 3x times negative 30 is negative 90 x. And so we have our final solution of 6x cubed minus 21x squared minus 90. So several correct ways to get at the solution. My suggestion is to multiply the binomials first and then distribute the monomial to finish the problem. 